won in London. <laughs> we arrived in quite late last night, so about half past midnight and went to bed about 1am, probably a bit later. I woke up this morning like normal at 8am and uh, I went to the gym and did a half an hour of cardio. Uh, I tried to keep the um, you know, the consistency of energy levels up when I, I did the bike and you know sometimes you're doing cardio and you're not even thinking about it so you're not really expending much energy so I really tried to keep the RPM up and after that it's um, not the best gym it's better than nothing because at least you have the cardio machines and there are some dumbbells and um, yoga ball and some medicine balls so I did some sumo squats with a heavy dumbbell and then I followed that up kind of superseted that with some sit-ups with a 5 kg um, medicine ball so I just went I'm trying to work on my abs because I kind of think they're non-existent right now so trying to build them up a bit again and then I did some um, you know on the yoga ball where you bring your legs in and out really hard in your hamstrings so I did a set of them and then I was pretty much dead and I came back upstairs showered made myself look half decent went for breakfast and for the first time ever at a buffet breakfast I really it was very good I had some strawberries I had an egg white omelet and um, I had some slices of turkey and a coffee and that was it and a decaf coffee as well I didn't even go for the caffeinated so we're going to head out now, we're going to do some filming with Noel and um, going to go to Notting Hill and then we are going to go to Regent Park so it's an absolutely fabulous day, I don't know if you can see that, it's like pure blue skies, it's a glorious day here in London so we're going to go and meet my friend Roisin who you've seen before in previous vlogs and we are going to just go chill out in the park, maybe get a sandwich, sit and enjoy the sunshine. Because tomorrow we have a very early start. We should be in the lobby at 5am because we've got a flight to Edinburgh. So I'll keep you updated on what we're doing during the day. See if I can squeeze in a treat. So I'm going to get you to stand, as soon as the road gets clear, I'm going to get you to stand there in the road like we did in the My Vision episode. Just kind of stood there, a little smile, kind of wince, anything like that, just to in introduce you both in the video basically, to show you on the floor. I'm using this epic piece of kit. All that to get a steady shot. To get, to get a shot that will probably be five seconds in It's done. You can check out the footage in the Gymshark YouTube video. And then you'll know it's all staged. <laughs> so, we've had a very nice day today. Um, back in the hotel, as you can see, I'm very, very brown. I'm very brown. This is not due to the beautiful sunshine that we encountered today. This is due to me getting a spray tan delivered to my hotel room. Um, it was actually quite convenient. I've never done that before. And, and a lot of times when I go to expos and events like this, I'll get a spray tan or do my tan myself. And if I get a spray tan at home, it can be faded and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get it to my hotel room, less stress. And it was, it was very stress-free. So hopefully I'll be gloriously tanned for Scotland tomorrow! We have to be up at 4.30 a.m. It's about 8.30 now. So we're getting room service to our room, just getting chicken salad, and I got a side of mushrooms, and I got like some soup, and we're gonna have that for dinner, and then we're gonna go to bed, because we're getting up at 4.30 in the morning. Actually, we're getting up before that, so I need to get ready. And I'm the only morning person, I think, out of the whole group, so it should be interesting. Haven't seen anyone today, only Noel and Charlotte. Um, Noel did some videoing, as you saw. We had a day in Hyde Park, and that's our day. How was your gym? Huh? How was your gym? It was like the equivalent of a bike with training wheels. Yeah. Got it done, though. Got something done. When there's, there's a means, there's a way. Yeah, I got my workout in. You can make excuses about not having a gym or not having the best equipment, but you can still do a workout if you put your mind to it. Makes you be inventive, I tell you that. Yeah. A good inventive. Maybe. Creative workouts. I'm gonna wait on our food now. Hopefully I'll be here soon, because I'm hungry. So before I eat it all, which is what I was going to do, I'll show you what I'm having. It's a superfood salad with some chicken breasts and instead of a side of fries, I've got a side of mushroom. Lex had the same superfood salad and he got tomato soup, which he's letting go cold because Lex obviously he just he loves the cold food. He doesn't like to hurry himself when it comes to food. He's too busy. Yeah, I, I be prioritizing having food and then doing the work. 
You see, it's YouTube is guilting you into you, you weirdo. You know you've got a false tan on when you're wearing your boyfriend's black t-shirt, bitch. Bit time. I finished all my food. Lex is still working his way through his salad. Come on, Lex. Poor form. Poor form. This is what it's really like. This is the reality. Laptop and phone going all at once. And he looks like a gnome. <laughs> it is 6.15 a.m. The sun is rising and you're here at Heathrow. We're just getting some breakfast and I've ordered the eggs royale so I've got a poached egg and some smoked salmon and I also ordered oh, some mushrooms on the side that's been my new thing I'm getting mushrooms on the side with everything Lex and then we got Ben over there and then Dan and then Dan and then my son David <laughs> hi mom hey mom <laughs> and coffee eat your goddamn pancake All right. get your carbs in get your carbs in uh, time to this morning, <laughs> David has had three protein bars, so now he's just on the carbs. Edwin Burrow. And um, everyone seems to have woken up. And I just witnessed David Laid chugging a bottle of wine. Oh, no one, no one like influenced him. No one forced him to do it. He just, ben said you he don't just want willingly did it. I did say, don't be a bitch, yo. <laughs> <laughs> and I may have said chug a few times. But 10, 20 times, yeah. So now, like, David's just wasted for the day. <laughs> and. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> got this big smile on my very face. inspirational. <laughs> no, no, I was following you. We have arrived. There's a castle. We're here. Yay. We are, we are. Oh shit, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Elegant as always, Charlotte. This is the tree that we're having our meetup at. We changed the meetup location kind of. Uh, about a half hour ago so people all thought we were going to be at Edinburgh Castle but then the castle was closed so now we're here under a tree in the park waiting for everyone to arrive which is already significant. Meet us at the tree in the secret park. <laughs> um, nearly midday, the day after the Scottish meetup. It couldn't really report because we were so busy. We got back to the hotel about 10 p.m. and everyone was exhausted because it was such a long day. I went to the gym this morning, did about a half an hour of steady state cardio and a lot of questions I got asked yesterday was about cardio so I'm going to cover that in a video coming up. And if you have any questions below that you want me to cover about cardio, just put them down below. And right now, we are in um, the Lantana Australia. Um, it's like, they've got three restaurants around London. Um, it's an Australian place, and we love our Australian brekkies since being in Australia early on this year. So we are here, and I'm about to demolish this. I've got egg whites, sourdough bread, again, more mushrooms. I'm all about the mushrooms. Lex went for a chia seed um, porridge. I suppose you'd call it and he's gone for the um, egg whites and sourdough as well but he's never had the chia seeds so you're looking forward to this next his neck is still at him so we're going to find a masseuse the world wants me to be Batman yeah we're going to try and find a masseuse um, to sort out his story has anyone had acupuncture? has anyone had acupuncture? because it's something that we're looking into even just for stress release and has anyone done it? yeah, keep me up in the comments below Seven years later. So we've just uh, been to a masseuse for Lex's neck. He's trying to get it mobile and now he's no longer like Batman. He can look left and right. He's not on the verge of tears every time um, he moves. Right now we are in Soho and we are in a cafe called, was it Balman? Balan. Balan's, Balan's Soho Society. Balan. Balan's Soho Society. But this coffee shop is where me and Lex came pretty much on our first proper coffee date almost three years ago. 
So it's a bit of a um, nostalgic coffee date and we're going to just enjoy chilling out and like a bit of people watching. I'd like to point out that a lot of the men in Soho are checking out Lex. So a lot of people watching in our direction and not for me. So Lex and I have spent the day um, walking up and down Oxford Street, just kind of like chilling in the shops. And now we are, we had to get away from the madness of Oxford Street because it was just crowded and warm and just gross. So we are now in Carnaby having a spot of lunch. We've both gone for the Thai chicken salad. Um, I had a Diet Coke but it's gone. And we are at the Carnaby Burger Company. So healthy options for us. So after being so good all day, um, we are treating ourselves to some snog frozen yogurt. Know, it's not a self serve, you have to decide prior. And we went, I went for um, a classic side, 110 grams plus. Um, I got some toppings, so I got the granola and the dark chocolate nib, and definitely fit in my macros, and I'm very happy. Um, that's ours there. Oh my god, look at yours, Lex. That's not mine. Yes, it is. A big fat so. Yum. That's yours, Lex. <laughs> Mine. I got nibs. Thank you. Can I get some caramel? You want caramel or salty caramel? Yeah. Just a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit, yeah. Cheers. So 210 grams of salted caramel, snog, put it in my fitness pal, add in some granola and dark pacconia. It wasn't too much fur than it was in the self-serve because I get very gluttonous when it comes to self-serve. I overfill it with toppings and eat things that I probably wouldn't normally eat. So remember when you go to Froyo that it's not healthy when you have 10 Reese's cups on top.